All right. So let's try the long division. What if it doesn't work? Thank God no one knows who we are. I will tell you we are friends with Leonard. And that's important, friends. That's important. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. I, I didn't do this problem ahead of time either. So, But let's see where it might go. Remember on long division, when we do long division, Dylan, that we're going to follow the first term here. So it's x squared divided by x, which is just what times what is x squared? Just x. Sorry. Sorry. So remember, so just follow this. x times x is x squared. And then check me out here. x times 1 is, is x, isn't it? Uh, uh, oh, sorry. It's x, isn't it? So far, so good. So x times x is this x squared x times positive 1 is this. It's just regular division. So all we're going to do, same thing we did before. In division, we divide, we multiply, we subtract, then we bring down, don't we? So it's going to be exactly the same way. <clears throat> so here's this negative sign. I'm going to distribute the negative sign, Ryan, to here and to here. Is that all right? Subtract. This goes to 0. This goes to negative 4x, doesn't it? Is that all right? Bring down the 2 just like regular division, plus 2. So negative 4x divided by x is negative 4. So negative 4 here. See what this looks like? Negative 4. Negative 4 times this is negative 4x. Negative 4 times positive 1 is negative 4. Remember, though, we're going to subtract this out. So here's we're going to subtract out the quantity, so it makes it the opposite. So a negative times a negative is a positive. Chloe, negative times a negative here is a positive. Is that right? And that gives us plus 6, doesn't it? Let's see how we did. Alright, everything is really good, but I, can I remind you of something here really quickly? If you had like, um, let's say you had 15 divided by 2, right? You'd get 7 and you get remainder 1. But where do you put the 1? What's the answer? What is 15 divided by 2? 7.5. So it, this 1, Dylan, goes over this. So it's 1 half. So what we have now is this. We have, yeah, we have this as an integral now. Let me make sure I copy this correctly. So now we have this integral here. Tell me if this makes sense. We have this integral here. It looks like this. The integral that we just had, we're just going to rewrite it in this form. The integral of, here's our x minus 4. Everybody okay with the x minus 4? Right, when we did our long division, we got x minus 4. Plus, we had a remainder of 6, Dylan, but we said we have a remainder. We put it back over right here, so x plus 1, isn't it? And now we have to integrate this thing by parts, don't we? I wonder if you can see this. Let's see if we can make this work. <clears throat> So far, so good. So what's this going to turn into? So if we integrate now, we're going to integrate now. What's the what's this? Well, how do you integrate this? X squared over over two. This. Negative four x, isn't it? And what I'm wondering is if, can you see, what is this piece right here? Can anybody see this piece right here? What does this piece right here look like? What have we been working on all day? It's an LN, isn't it? So it would be what? Plus. Remember, because if you look at this piece, break, bring this piece out, it's 6, right? Times. 1 over x plus 1. This is an ln, isn't it? So it's 6 ln of x plus 1. All plus c. That was really difficult, wasn't it? How was it? That's the answer. 
How do you feel about it? Yeah, it's definitely not, it's not like that, is it? I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not like super easy, but but it's not super easy, so I'm kind of at peace with that. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about the long division part? Polynomial division? Can you look at that video tonight, seriously? Because it's not bad at all. All you have to do, remember, when you're doing polynomial division is that you take the top part, take the numerator, divided by the denominator, and just remember, follow this. So first thing I did was x squared divided by x. So what times x is x squared? Well, x is, right? And then you have to remember that whatever you do here, it follows this other piece. So it's this and then this, yeah? All right. That might be my favorite video ever. Polynomial division.